everyone, and welcome to News Now, Belmont Journal Daily News Show and Community Update. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. A recent study showed that one in 10 people in Massachusetts are struggling with food insecurity today. Boston Area Gleaners, a local NGO, uses gleaning as a way to address this pressing issue. But what is gleaning? Citizen journalist Komako Akai Wailo spoke with the organization executive director Asha Tucker and also a volunteer from Belmont. They should be pretty easy to see the, in the sunlight, especially the, the mold is pretty vibrant. The bag is Boston Area Gleaners. We are a small nonprofit based currently out of Waltham and we um, rescue surplus produce from farms, so crops that would otherwise not get harvested for a variety of reasons and would get plowed under. We take volunteers to harvest that, those, that produce and then we um, distribute that produce to food pantries and food banks um, in eastern Massachusetts. So gleaning is a term that was originally found in the Bible. The idea is that farmers are supposed to leave the corners of their field for the, for the poor to be able to take the extra produce. So it's a concept that is thousands of years old for, of um, leaving, taking good produce um, and providing for those in need. In the farming season, as I said, we have these relationships with all these farmers. A farmer will call us and say, I have a field of fill in the blank, tomato, spinach, whatever. I can't harvest it because I don't have the labor, because I need that field for the next thing I'm going to plant. There's a whole bunch of reasons why they might have excess produce. You know, if you can get here in the next two days, it's yours. That's generally the way it works. It's a pretty tight time window. There's a national organization called Feeding America that looks at food insecurity across the country and does a lot of work around hunger relief. In a study that was released by Feeding America at the end of March, the numbers show that currently one in 10 people in the state of Massachusetts are struggling with food insecurity. You know, with the pandemic, food insecurity rates in Massachusetts are at an all time high. For as long as people have been tracking these numbers, they've never been higher. Food insecurity means that you can't afford to provide healthy, food on a consistent basis for your family. And so it's not necessarily that you can't afford food, but it's that you can't afford good, healthy, balanced meals for your family. So we're very focused on providing the fresh fruits and vegetables, but there's also other healthy foods, you know, that other organizations help supply as well. So BAG was originally founded in 2004 as a completely volunteer organization. We've been a nonprofit since 2007 and we've grown from two employees in 2010 to um, all, more than 13 employees this past season. Um, 2020 was a mix of things because of the pandemic. So we did gleaning, but we also did a lot of distribution of produce from a variety of sources because we have trucks and drivers. And so we utilized our infrastructure to get food to people in need during the pandemic. We're packing 2,000 boxes a week. We, it take, we run trips three days a week. Each trip is three hours long. At any given moment, only two of those are our staff. So you can understand that we can amplify the effectiveness of our team by having volunteers come and help us pack these boxes. We finished our boxes for today like an hour and a half early. So we <laughs> really did well. Yeah, yeah, this fight is a great We have a email list of about 4,000 volunteers. And our work encompasses three different important areas of social change that people are interested in. It's reduction of food waste, providing um, food for families in need, and supporting um, the environment because there's a connection between excessive food waste and climate change. And so we get people who are interested in um, all of those things or people who are come at it from a particular lens. I work as a cook. Um, at Deborah's Natural Gourmet in West Concord. I have been interested for uh, quite a while in getting more involved with food justice. I live in Belmont, Massachusetts. I uh, just joined the Boston area gleaners. Everyone's just used to going to the grocery store. Stuff is always there and they buy it, but they're not thinking about how that's grown, the difficulties that a grower might face or a farmer might face. Um, so to really just grow that appreciation for the food and the connection between the food and where it goes and to the people, I think 
is so important and so valuable. And I think working for them or volunteering for them um, really helps bring that awareness. My first day I had, po- I had packed like a bag of rice, a bag of garbanzo beans, some oats, and then we had like tomatoes and potatoes and celery. And it, just thinking about all the things I could make, I'm like, oh, wow. Like, so like half of those ingredients, like that gar- those garbanzo beans, the tomatoes, celery, um, one day they had onion, like those could go together and make a really good curry is one of the most beautiful things of having fresh produce. It's just, that's something that lived and grew and now it's ready and it's, its purpose is for you. We've been in need of a larger facility that would really allow us to improve our efficiency and expand our volume for a couple of years. We've been fortunate enough to identify a property in Acton that is both a working farm but also has buildings that we can use for packing and storage and office space etc. Um, we are a very different organization than we were a year ago because we're doing such different work. We are growing staff, infrastructure, we are in a position to buy a permanent facility. Um, you know, that organizationally is the big change. Externally, you know, the world around us has changed completely. Um, people are, like I said, the financial crisis that has come with the pandemic is going to affect people and food insecurity for a long time. Um, we're looking to try to understand how we can best impact not just the short-term emergency relief efforts, but also the broader system issues that contribute to food insecurity in the first place.